Hit it. Hit him, hit him. The dog runs from across the street, pouncing on the little girl. He bit my head, and I was trying to hide my ears. She was brutally attacked by two pit bulls. <laughs> Yeah, we were at work and we got the call and they said, well, you need to hurry up and get here now. It was in March of last year that Jeff Borkhart's 14-month-old son, Daxton, was attacked by two pit bulls that belonged to a babysitter. She did everything she could to save him. Um, she was carrying him, and that's what happened. Um, she dressed him. She put his hat on, his coat. She was carrying him by the hip, let him out. They went out to their potty break. When it was time to come back in, she opened up the gate and they launched this 15 minute assault on her. They literally ripped her, hit my son out of her arms and mauled him to death. Initially, Jeff says he didn't fully understand the severity of the attack. That is until he and his wife actually saw Daxton's gruesome injuries. Half his face was ripped off. I mean, his eyeball was hanging from the socket. He was completely stripped naked. His, his skull was crushed. I mean, it was, it was, this was more than a dog bite. This was a, this was a mauling. In the months since the attack, Jeff's grief has turned to activism. He's established a website in his son's name, Daxton's Friends, dedicated to education and awareness. But make no mistake, for Borkhart, the pit bull is inherently dangerous. They're all descendants of the original pit fighting, bull baiting dogs. That's what these dogs do, and that's why they disproportionately kill, maim, and maul more other humans and animals than all breeds combined. And statistics from right here in Milwaukee County, where they track dog bites according to breed, appear to support Borkhart's claim. In fact, pit bulls jump right off the page. 75 bites in 2012, 80 in 2013. No other breed even comes close. The reason it looks like pit bulls do most of the work is just because they're, pit bulls are the number one dog in the city of Milwaukee. Maddock Executive Director Karen Sparapani says that popularity is rooted at least in part in the pit bull's fearsome reputation. Put simply, the dog has become a status symbol in the inner city and a lucrative source of income for amateur breeders. They're really being bred for profit. And if people are breeding for profit, they're really not too concerned about the dog's temperament. As a result, Sparapani says many pit bulls are taken from their litters too soon, never learn to socialize, and are often mistreated, a pattern that can manifest in aggressive behavior, and for many of them, a death sentence at Matic. It's unfortunate, really, for that breed. Whether it's because of the way pit bulls are wired or the way people are treating them, many communities have taken the controversial step of banning the breed altogether. South Milwaukee and St. Francis are a couple of local examples. Here in Milwaukee, there are special rules for pit bulls, fencing and cement floored kennels. But Sparapani believes more could and should be done, specifically in the form of mandatory spay neuter to help control the pit bull population. I don't believe in breed specific legislation as far as banning, but when I go back there and every dog's a pit bull, I, why wouldn't why wouldn't you have a breed specific solution? And while Sparapani and Borkhart may differ on the why behind pit bull behavior, on this count they agree. No birth equals no kill. I don't, what's so hard to understand about that? For the pro pit bull movement and many leading dog experts, plenty. They remain adamantly opposed to breed specific legislation of any kind. In its official position statement on pit bulls, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says, quote, all dogs, including pit bulls, are individuals, and we should be judging them by their actions and not their DNA. If a big dog bites you, it doesn't matter if it's a pit bull, Doberman, it could be a Newfoundland, Great Dane. If a big dog bites you for whatever reason and they wanted to hurt you, they weren't just kind of giving you a warning shot off the bow, you're going to get hurt. I honestly do not believe it's breed related. I really do not. I honestly believe it is the way an animal's brought up. All dogs can bite, but pit bulls continue an attack. They are bred to do this. It's as much an emotional debate as a scientific one. People are passionate about their pets. But after losing his son, Jeff never imagined that he'd be the one who's now under attack. Among the recent comments left on his website, one says, quote, you can put a gun to your head and join your ugly son. This is daily basis, the hate mail that I get, okay? These dogs can be great. They can be great dogs, and I'm sure that's why I get this, because people are attached to my dogs. I love my dog, don't get me wrong. But they're not, rat terriers aren't killing 30 people a year.